What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, we are back at Joe Foss Field for the sixth airport update for the month of August, 2020. Got a full house here. Six of the seven gates are currently occupied, including a charter that has landed right here. Um, we'll go ahead and start at gate one. At gate one is this Frontier Airbus A320neo, uh, Mia the Dolphin, um, supposed to be representing the schedule on Thursday, August 6th. So the actual plane that arrived was Scarlet the Tangager. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'll just call it Scarlet the Red Bird because it looks like a red bird, but yeah. So arrived in from Denver about 30 minutes ago. There's a catering truck sitting next to the terminal building. So I'm starting to put all like the uh, ground vehicles next to the building now. It makes it look a little more realistic. Hoping to get maybe like two or three more sets because I do need more of these things because they make the airport look a lot better. But yeah, that's about it for him. Pop over to gate three. At gate three is this American Eagle Embraer ERJ-145. I've called this a 135 in past updates, but I've actually learned it's supposed to be a 145 according to the box that I have of the model. You see right here, it says Embraer ERJ-145 on the box. I've called it a 135 because I don't know, I think the registration's kind of throwing me off, but I'll call it a 145 from now on. But yeah, he arrived in from Chicago about 20 minutes ago, and he is getting service. Got the uh, baggage carousel right there, the baggage cart, and a fuel truck just behind the plane. And it's actually kind of a nice shot over here with these two planes, and also that third one over there that I'll get to here in just a minute. But he'll be heading back to Chicago here in about 30 to 45 minutes, I want to say. So yeah, just kind of residing at gate three, getting serviced, and heading back to Chicago. Once again, I have to hold the tripod so you can actually see the aircraft properly, but this is a Delta Connection Mitsubishi CRJ700, actually operated by a CRJ900, but I do not have that still, so I'm subbing it out for a 700 instead. He arrived in from Minneapolis about 45 minutes ago, and he's residing at the gate. Getting the passengers on board so that they can head up to Minneapolis in about 20 to 30 minutes. And at gate 5, we have a very special visitor. This is supposed to be a National Airlines Boeing 757-200, but I have it subbed out as an American Airlines Chrome 757. This is actually the first release, 601 Alpha November from 2008. And I've heard it's one of the rarest um, American Chrome models out there, at least one of the, not the rarest, but it's up there. Um, got this at an antique store for maybe like ten, twenty dollars. I don't remember, but anyways, this is supposed to be a National Airlines 75. Uh, he arrived in from Riverside, California, and I was told that there was a military training exercise or whatever that had just concluded. So this National Airlines aircraft stopped by to drop off personnel, and I believe it went back to Riverside. Um, it arrived at like 10:30 the night before on Wednesday night, and departed at 5:30 a.m. on Thursday morning. So, kind of an interesting plane here. Um, I did not catch it because obviously I was sleeping during those times that it visited, so could not catch it, but it's here in the airport update, just subbed out as an American Chrome 757. Got a lot of action over here, a couple buses, an orange service truck, but other than that, that's about it for him. At gate six is our very usual uh, United Express Mitsubishi CRJ 550, arriving in from Chicago. Um, we don't get these around three times daily anymore. I think they switched it to once daily, and we're getting more of the Denver CRJs, which you'll see at gate seven in a minute. But, yeah, not really sure why they decreased the uh, frequency of the flights. It was like twice to three times daily, but now it's down to once daily, I'm sure. Since we're approaching the fall and eventually the winter, the um, flight frequencies are going to fluctuate a bit for certain flights. But, um... Yeah, not much interesting for him, but I did see the exact aircraft that's represented here, 504 Golf Juliet, in Plane Spotting episode... Oh god, I'm gonna forget this one so hard, aren't I? Um, it was Plane Spotting episode 56, I think. Um, I'm probably gonna be wrong on that, but if I am right, then there would have been no subtitle then, but... That's about it for him. Uh, move on to some of the last aircraft. Our final aircraft at the passenger terminal is this United Express Mitsubishi CRJ-200. He arrived in from Denver, and this is obviously the Battleship Grey version, because I cannot find one with the current livery. I'm hoping Gemini Jets does release a United CRJ-200 with the new um, blue Evo globe. Um, that'd be very nice to see. 
So just kind of waiting for that to happen, but for now you're going to be seeing, seeing the Battleship Grey CRJ200s in the airport updates if I need to represent a United CRJ200. Arrived in from Denver about, I want to say, 45, 50 minutes ago, and he's just residing at the gate with kind of a lopsided jet bridge. But the passengers are navigating through it and are getting on the plane without any problems. And he should be heading back to Denver in about 30 minutes. One last plane for the update, a small Cessna Skyhawk just taxiing by the terminal, checking out the National 75 that has arrived. And that's it for the update. A lot of action here. Um, the first time I've had this airport um, filled up to the brim with aircraft, minus that one gate, gate two, which I've never put an aircraft at that gate. I'm going to have to change that, but I've never seen an aircraft parked at gate two, so I'm going to have to fix that at some point. But for now, that's it for the update. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.